What is up, my friends? What is up, my friends? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the Icoria Early Access Stream brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. A big thanks to them, hashtag sponsored, for setting this up. They do this every new set, and it's probably one of the most exciting days on stream and in the content that I do. Uh, this is awesome. I have a fully stocked Icoria account. It's so far beyond stocked. Look at this. I have 953,000 gems. <gasps> so many gems. I'm rich. And uh, fully stocked account. And as we always do, we're going to be bringing you 10 new brews. I spent the last two days building these decks, brewing these decks up. And um, they're all based around new Ikoria cards. Only, honestly, one of them is like a, a holdover from the previous format for the most part. Almost every deck here is a brand new, uh, a brand new idea. And... Um, and I have a hot dog. And a hot dog. Let's hear it for the hot and dog. I got tater tots. They're not very good. They were heated. So. I got tater tots. That's awesome. Even preheated so, tater tots are fine. So we are going to be playing our 10 new brews. And now everyone's here. Everyone say hi for a second. All right. Let's say uh, hi. I, I just came to drop off lunch. John came to entertain. John with the windmill. <laughs> All right. So Ow. 10 new brews. Again, jam-packed of Ikoria cards. Of course, you'll see uh, these on, on YouTube. If you miss all of them, it's going to be a long stream, about 10 hours. And, of course, my article on Friday on CoolStuffInc.com. That's right, CoolStuffInc.com. We'll have all of the deck lists for these uh, these decks, as well as my thoughts on each deck. So, no deck list today. If you type in exclamation point deck, nothing is going to happen. Not a single thing. So, we're going to start with Turtle Control. This is the deck that, um, that uh, had the most hype in the pre-stream, and uh, honestly one of the decks that I'm most excited about here in Turtle Control. Let's do this. Turtle Control, what's Turtle? Yadaro, Wandering Monster. Seven mana for an 8-8 Trample Haste. I don't see his name that bad. Uh, has Cycling 2, cool. Whenever you cycle Yadaro, Wandering Monster, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard. You cycle the card named Yadaro, Wandering Monster, Four or more times this game, put it onto the battlefield instead of your graveyard. So you just keep cycle, just keep cycling this card, and eventually on the fourth cycle, it's just a two mana cycling eight eight, which is insane, just totally totally insane. Uh, but Walda blocks over resubs. Thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome win condition for a control deck. Realistically. It just two mana opt for the most part. You just keep cycling it, and then later in the game, it just does a, an eight eight. Just goes nuts. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the that's one of the big new cards. Other big new card in this deck is Riel. Am I saying that right? Riel the Everwise. This is a is it uh, and one for an O three. Not really an O three though. Not really an O three. This is uh, gets plus one plus O for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard. One or more cards for the first time each turn, you draw that many cards. So if I had a Faithless Looting and I cast it, I would uh, draw two, discard two, then draw two. So Rebel is pretty wild. This card's pretty busted. Um, it works with Cycling because Cycling is considered a discard. Uh, cycling is considered pay the cost, discard the card, draw. Uh, works, of course, with Thrill the Possibility. And um, we're not really like a huge... Ravel deck, like it might not be supporting it as much as we really maybe, maybe should be, but um, just a really powerful card by itself. Even if it just this is just like a five three, you know, uh, it's pretty awesome. We're maybe, maybe we're not sure, maybe not doing it hard enough with this card, but we'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, we've got a solid control shell here. One of the most important cards of a new set that uh, if you read my article on CoolStuffInc.com, my love hate article, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, two mana instant. Deals damage equal to creature or planeswalker equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. If it would die, exile it. This is literally just Hero's Downfall in this deck. And the one problem Blue-Red always has is large creatures and planeswalkers resolving. And this is just all of them. This card's insane. The card's awesome. Uh, otherwise, just all the usual stuff. Negate, Quench, Ops, Shock, Dragonfire. We're playing Thrill, both as a way to fill our graveyard for to Blitz, uh, make our Riel really good, um, just get deeper into our deck. We can discard our extraneous cards and matchups where they're bad. Uh, Storm's Wrath seems awesome in this deck, so we're not playing any Planeswalkers. Uh, Mystical Dispute, Ionize. Uh, play one copy of Shark Typhoon. I don't think this card's great, but it's fine. It's good against uh, it's good against uh, Teferi. Holland Brand with the resub says, A control shell. Get it? 
And um, yeah, that's the deck. So we're playing best of one today uh, because that's the uh, option given to us. We're going to play about maybe between, between three and five games with each deck. Um, we're just going to let it ride. We're just going to let it ride. Again, if you want to hear my more concrete thoughts on uh, the set, I did an article on CoolStuffInc.com with my loves and hates, uh, as well as a full set review on my uh, full set review on my YouTube. Six hours long, full set review, every card in the set, constructed and limited. Check that out, but not right now. Not right now. We got games to play. I'm pumped. You should be too. Chat's going wild. I can't even keep track of everything. Lord Draken, can you please make a exclamation point dead uh, deck command? So when they try and trigger a deck thing, mention that the deck will still be my article on Friday. Awesome. Remember, folks, change brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Your number source for your game shopping needs and free content. That's right. Free content. Always free content. Every single weekday. No paywall. No paywall. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. Go pre-order your Ikoria cards. Oh, I, I gotta load the graphic. We got a new sale. I gotta load that graphic. New graphic. Uh, there's a big sale going on only during this event. I gotta get that loaded. I forgot about it. We'll do that next. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, we're gonna keep this. We gotta make, make some land drops here, I think. Let's go. Four Blitz is definitely too much. I think you are totally incorrect. I think Blitz is the best card in the deck. Uh, I think Blitz is really, really, really good. Uh, Temple of Malady for them. I can shift that one. Uh, War! New, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Got a hype train going here. We got some Abzan stuff. Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan is here. And our first Yadaro. Now, we're just going to kill this right now so they can't... Uh, like, if they have a, any sort of uh, mutate effect, and they try and mutate onto it, and we kill it in response, they'll look at the creatures. We'll just kill this now. Doubt they have any blue cards with that ride. Oh, we're gifting subs. New subs left and right. Love it. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Ooh, fancy animations here. That is a really long animation. That is, that is definitely a long one. All right. Um... We want to cast this and Thrill on the same turn, probably. I'm not leaving Dispute up here. Just say go. Man, chat's going wild. I can't even keep up. Zuno, resub. Gore, so they're, they're just being... They're just like a graveyard -y deck. Gorging Vulture. Um, we could Dispute this. Still puts one creature in the, one card in the graveyard. They like make the borders bigger. The cards look different. There's some like slight UI changes. Um, we're just dispute this. Ideally, we draw a land next turn. We can go Ravel plus uh, get the engine going here. Want the tater tot recipe? Um, they're frozen. They're frozen tots. All right, here we go. Ravel. Ariel. I can't. I'm just gonna say it different every single time. Oh, that was cool. I enjoyed that. So they go here. Skull Prophet. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Like that. Shocking. All right. I mean, they can uh, pod this thing away for something if they want to, but... Sure. So they're going to pot away their thing, which is fine. So they now have two creatures in the bin. They're going to Mire Triton. Sure. They'll mill another creature. Sure. So Arson's getting bigger. We're going to cycle this uh, Idaro first. So we... Uh, listen, I guess we want to... We want to do, a better chance to draw Yadaro, I guess? So, sure. So, goes back in. Draw for the Ravel. Draw for Cycling. Cool. Well, that's two Yadaros. That's two. Um, we're going to throw this land away here. It sucks that the artist is a little too big right now, but... Let's, let me draw this. Yeah, so do this now. This only triggers once per turn, so... 
Draw for that, and draw for that. Ionize is cool. Uh, we can Yadaro and Dragonfire. Let's just kill the Mire Triton and attack. But I want to have counter spells up. Yeah, I want to have counter spells up. So, we'll just play this. Let's see, go. Okay. This card's insane. <laughs> this card's really, really good. I got tots. Alright, what do they have to? I mean, they can pod here. Even if they kill the real, it's down the end of the world, honestly. I'll still draw off it. Off my, uh, my Yadara. This card's really good. This card's really good. Lump, there's a separate, uh, thing on Coalesce for the, for the custom pile driver shirt. You order that one. It's a hot dog sandwich. This is a sorcery speed. So I could just kill this right now and they can't pot it. They're obviously planning on potting it because they're not attacking at that, but I think it's fine. Um, so then I can't counter. I have a lot of mana up. Maybe we just kill it, actually. We just kill it. They can't pot. We're going to cycle Yadaro anyway, so. A hot dog is a taco. That's a hot take. That's a hot take. They're tanking here. They're tanking. Ooh, hello. Uh, they're just casting this. So they're casting Netheroi Apex of Death. And we took down our counter magic, which is kind of kind of dumb, I guess. But sure. When this mutates, return a bunch of creatures in the graveyard. I don't have that much, so. Alright, let's cycle Yodoro. This is our second cycle. Put it back in. Draw. Draw. Oh look, it's our card that kills it and exiles it. How fortunate that we have that card in our deck. The best card in our deck. Um, so let's opt here. Shark Typhoon? That's pretty good right now. The, almost any cycling card is good. And now we have five for this thingy. Let's kill the uh, Apex of Death. Should I kill that? When should I kill it? I guess we're gonna play. I guess I would I would trade Riel for Fiend Artisan because we're so ahead right now. So let's just um This is Death Touch Lifelink. Yeah, let's just kill this right now. This card is so good. So right now we're so ahead on cards that like we don't really need our card draw engine, I don't think. So I would I'd happily trade my engine for their engine because we're so far ahead. But, and we should play a land here and say go. What are we on two cycles now? I oh, see right here, that's awesome. Mire Triton again, sure. And now, I think we're going to stack the trigger and... Eh, we could stack... Maybe I should have uh, paid a shock here. Because so I could stack the trigger and unshock it, and they can't activate the Fiend Artisan. Uh, but then my, then my Iron Eyes is down. Do I care? What are they going to stack it for? Like Plague Crafter. That's fine. This kills this tonight. It doesn't kill that. Uh, yeah, I think I played sloppy this game so far. Alright, whatever. It's a mill two. It's now 6-6. Six, six. And they play a 6-6 six, six Mulder Hulk. Alright, yeah. Alright, I think we've played pretty badly this game. <laughs> First game of the day, we're warming up. Um, sure. We should have shocked with our fed with our steam vents last turn. Mountain. Alright, so this thing makes a a six six. Hmm, 
two, three. Let me draw two. I only have one card left. Alright, we're gonna s a go. Yeah. I mean, deck seems awesome, honestly. Uh, we just like play this game pretty badly, unfortunately, but I think we'll be okay. So let's cycle this. Uh, crank it up for the max amount here. Draw two off our cycle, which is awesome. And just trade the board off. Why would you move like that? Stop sliding around. Don't have the uh, the ultimatum. Oh, great. All right, we played this game unbelievably badly, but that's okay because the more this is our little literal first game of the format. Um, the the deck feels awesome, which is good. So, jeez. Yeah. So obviously we're dead. Uh, that's fine. We should we should have never lost this game. I just played played horribly. So that's okay. That's okay. First game of the day, first game of the day, let's get warmed up. So yeah, so, okay. Let's not play like crap, and we'll do great. The deck, the deck felt awesome. I mean, we just like, let them resolve an ultimate with four counter spells in our hand. Didn't, didn't, we just, just play the game terribly. It's really, really bad. It's okay, though. That's okay. Uh, uh. Ew. I think we're gonna mulligan. That's better. Um, as much as I don't want to, we're gonna dump the turtle here. Just make sure our hand's functional. Okay, let's get started here. A little triome action. I don't like the templating of the tap ed blue, tap ed red, tap ed white. Wish it was all three. Dorat the perfect pet. Okay. I guess we're gonna kill that now. Sure. No luminous broom moth today, Eddie. Sorry. Didn't make the bruise. Didn't make the bruise. Godzilla! Okay, so not mutated, but pretty beefy, uh, pretty beefy card. Let's just play a, a Riel and see what, see what happens here. I think Dragonfire is better than Fire Prophecy, yeah. I think Exiling and Hitting Planeswalker is kind of important. Opponent agrees. Okay. Um... So you put the in the bottom. Just play Riel again. Say go and opt. Where are all those disputes now, huh? You know? Kaikar wins Fury. Still legal and standard. Unfortunately, we drew uh we drew all of our mystical disputes against the Abzan deck, and now none against the uh, Jeskai deck, but. Um, opt here. Thrill's great. Like that one. Take three. Negate. All right. So start with thrill. Draw off that thing. Draw two. And we have a blitz for one of these. Probably want to blitz the. Thing that makes tokens, you know, all right. Need a little help here, obviously you have all, you have all lands in a gate, but... Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor. Okay, what's up, King? How's it going, everyone? Discard Flame Sweep, all right. 
Blitz of a Thunder Raptor. Yeah, I think we need to support our, our Ryle. We're going to build around this card a little more. Probably should just have like four throw possibility in our deck. Um, this card just seems so phenomenally good. Even the Cycler seems good. Maybe this, the Cycling uh, Draw 4 should be good in this deck. All right, folks. No one's played with these cards before. All these decks are going to be an un imperfect. I did it at Sorcery Speed because they have kind of untap and have counter spells, protection spells, things like that. Um, we're actually going to do it again. So... Suppose your opponent's cast target creature by target control costs two or more to cast. So let's attack uh, this first. See what they do. Cool. Kill that. What's this? Still have the gate up, which feels pretty good. Hold this in our hand in case we draw a looting effect. They're going to loot again. Eight for the resync. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. Thanks to the files, everyone. Y'all are great. Negate. Negate again. Alright. So this thing isn't really doing anything anymore. Just attack them. I think Cathartic's just much, much worse than Thrill. It requires you to have multiple cards in your hand. It gets countered into disaster. We should definitely have Thrill, fourth Thrill in our deck, though. It's, like, not even close. Probably 4 Thrill, and then the draw 4 Cycling card, probably. Seeing how good Riel is. Can't have cards that are only good when Riel is in play, because Riel's not going to be in play all the time, that's for sure. Gentlemen! Behold! Heh. <laughs> hmm. What's up, Gummy? You're up. Jess Guy Fires. More like Jess Guy Flyers. Uh, dispute ya. You dead. Yeah, this card's so freaking good. Oh, man. I, I, did, I, I knew this card was pretty good. I did not realize it was this good. Alright, well, now we're out. So both players are just out of gas. So we draw Blitz. Alright. Nah, there's no Royal Scions. Maybe, maybe, maybe there should be, though. Ooh, let's just start... Actually, hold on a second. Now, this card does have a casting cost. Oh, it's Helix! Oh, my God! Let's go. No animation? Oh, that's cold. That's cold. Oh, they have a, a trample, right? It's got trample in hand. Why does this card have trample? Do you know what a trample is? Raise your hand in chat if you know what a trample is. Alright. One and one. One and one. This deck seems awesome. This deck seems awesome. Turtle control. I'm gonna eat my hot dog more. Turtle control. Where's our opponents at? Where's our opponents at? If you're still in, folks, yeah, I'm following straight that follow button, of course, if you're watching on YouTube. Please make sure you subscribe on there, like the video, leave a comment. If you enjoy my content on YouTube, please take 10 seconds. Like the video, leave a comment. Every video you watch helps me out a ton. Nothing but time for you. Nothing but time. Uh, no discard decks, Dothar. No discard decks, sorry. Uh, we're still working on the house. We're waiting to hear back from Twitch. Um, well, I'll probably end up closing like next week, which kind of sucks, but it just is what it is. Ban the, the, the banks are just like, it's like literally smashing your head into a wall. Alright, so Godless Shrine, sure. Hello. This is the first of 10 new brews we just started. Just started. Alright. Wandering monster, ready to roll. At the end, can I sum up what changes I'd make to the deck? Nope. That's all on Friday in the article, folks. Friday, coolstuffinc.com. My article will be all about all 10 of these decks. 
my thoughts on how they played. I give them a rating. I give them future prospects, my thoughts on the decks. Um, that's all on Friday, folks. So today we're just playing the decks. No deck list today. And only my thoughts while I'm playing. Cycle Yadaro. Draw Storm's Wrath. That's kind of nice. Now, Storm's Wrath obviously doesn't play very well with Riel. Um, don't have a second red yet, either. We also have nothing to really trigger Riel, so... I'm just going to say go here. Are these brews pre-constructed? I have built every deck you see today over the last two days. And almost all of them are, like, pretty new ideas. They're not, like, uh, rehashes. There's one, like, Jeskai Fires deck, which is, you know, just Jeskai Fires with a few new cards in it. But for the most part, they're all based on new cards. So they're all going to be really, uh, really rough drafts. You know, we're just figuring things out as we go here. All right, so again, I don't want to cast Riel yet. We should probably should have built around Riel more. I kind of just threw Riel in because it seems sweet. Uh, but I didn't really think about how awesome it was because it's really, really good. Uh, all right, I mean, just say go. Drill Boss, resub, one year. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, this deck's going to be so good. Even just playing it for a game or two, I just, like, there's just so many ideas I have. Like the... I just didn't realize how good Riel was. Alright. Still no real reason to play Riel. I guess we're going to Dragonfire this Meyer Triton. What's up, Red Jar? Awesome, my friend. Dio! Thanks for the, thanks for the donation, my friend. I appreciate that. Yes, we're... We're, we're, if, you know, if you don't know, if you're first, first time tuning in, we're in the middle of buying a house. It's been kind of hell on earth. Um, almost there. Almost there. The Wandering Monster. Now, we could just cast this, but now we actually have a reason to play Riel. So let's play Riel and say go. Opponents only played one spell this game, so... Oh, there we go. Abzan. Low Spore Shaman. Now I gotta play all their creatures. God, Storm's Wrath. They were missing a color. Alright, so they're also playing Ultimatum. Alright, so we get to cycle this thing and draw two cards, one off Riel also. And then we draw it again. Scorching Dragonfire. Alright. I mean, we could just kill the Glowspore Shaman, I guess, and just get in. God, this card's. I just can't believe how good this card is. No cardboard live today, folks. Yeah, it's up. It, the UI has been updated on uh, Arena, so it's going to take a few days for cardboard live to get set up. And obviously, no one has seen this build of Arena yet. So, Dried of the Elysian Grove. Sure. Ev evacu. Evacation. Yeah, sure. They mill some stuff. Alright, so we could dragon fire the mole. We're not going to do that. Just going to untap. Try and draw a cycling card. Or throw a possibility. Yeah, just not playing four of this card is the, the biggest mistake of my magic career. Draw off Riel. Draw two for that. Uh, now you've got Ionize, Shock, and Dragon Fire in just the world here. Bat King, new sub. What's your name away from? Welcome, my friend. Just say go. I'd like to build into a Storm's Wrath, honestly, but we'll see. Eh, just keep playing, I guess. Just kill it. Exiling it's obviously cute. Not the most important thing in the world, but... Cavalier of Thorns is pretty good. Uh, I kind of wanted to save this Iron Eyes for... Uh, the ultimatum, because that's probably what they're building up to with this Forerunners here. Um, Cavalier's really big, though. This is kind of scary. Uh, We don't love it. 
I'm <laughs> stress. Spells. We need spells. There are one land. They can cast ultimatum next turn. Attack for a bunch. They go. Yeah, you definitely, definitely drawn awkwardly. I think that Storm's Wrath might be incorrect because Rebel's so good or Riel's so good. Oh god. <sighs> Just getting punished actual every time. Alright. That's this has been a this is a frustrating start. Frustrating start that um our deck seems awesome, but it's definitely I mean I don't think I played badly this game. I think that countering the Cavalier was probably right. But I don't know, it might not have been. And our Storm's Wraths look pretty awkward. Riel just, like, makes this deck more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. Vegan Bolt's kind of cool Riel, too. I mean, you can just, like, double Storm's Wrath next turn. It's not like it's, like, the end of the world. We're taking it off this, though. That is hate. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's big, too. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We get a 1. Hmm. Yeah, they put the ult it doesn't even matter. So they just put the, ult put the ultimate on top. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're not doing this deck justice yet. So first first thing learned, Riel's insane. And should we be built around more directly, I think. It's honestly possible maybe Arclight Phoenix is a thing. I'm honestly kind of gathering that Riel seems better than the Turtle does. I kind of built the deck around the Turtle and just kind of added the Riel later, but it seems like Riel is more worth building around than the, than the Turtle is. The Turtle's like, yo, you talking about me? Uh, I would say... I would say... Brandon, new sub from Nova Scotia. Every card thought sees. Love 8 rack. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. I'm going to keep this. I think Yadaro is playable in Pioneer Modern. Sure. Tithe Taker. Okay. We have Dragonfire. But. Hmm. Hmm. I just want to save this for when I have this already. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of payoff cards in Is It for sure. Um, where are those Storm Thrasts now, right? Alright, so I take her Venerable Knight, sure. I guess we just real here. I might kill it, but yeah, it's best of one. This is just the the play mode that's given to us in the uh, preview streams. All right, sure, that makes sense. Pretty cool card, Dire Tactics. We're playing this card later. Guess who's back? Uh, I think we're not gonna play this though. I think we're gonna kill her stuff and say play the play land killer stuff and say go. Next turn we get to go Riel plus uh, cycle and draw, so. General's Enforcer. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Uh, whatever. They got no cards in hand. They can uh, exile a card from a graveyard. That's kind of annoying. 
So I think we're actually going to do this right now, because otherwise they get exiled from the graveyard, and it would just go away. Blitz is insane. Blitz is totally insane. Quench. Yeah, like, Quench might also be bad. Oh, come on! Alright. Raffia. Almost there on Yadaro, so... Ice Taker, sure. Sure. Cycle ya. Draw. Alright. Cycle ya. Draw. Nope. Dragon Fire. Our human deck is much different. We're like a sacrifice-y deck. <sighs> Alright. They choose odd or even. This thing has pro. Odd. So this thing has pro even. So I need to have odd colored costs, so I can't kill this thing. Shock. That's an even cost, or an odd cost. I mean, hello. This card just seems way too good. I'm also sad you draw an animation. Oh look, it's our eight eight with an odd mana cost. Maybe I should have act. I probably should have act. I don't know. They do draw a lot of spells. Uh, alright. Sure. I guess our Typhoon is even also. Yeah, I probably should have attacked. That's probably dumb. I just got excited. Alright, so... We'll just say go and Typhoon and we'll just kill him with the Typhoon, I guess. What's up, Umar? They have drawn basically hot fire for like five turns in a row. Law Rune Enforcer. Alright, that one's fun. That one's fun. Not a problem. Hit this for five. With them at 12 life, hard casting Typhoon isn't necessary. Jeez. Alright, uh, kill this. They make a token, they attack. We actually can't even do anything. We can't even attack. That sucks. Alright. Annoying. So yeah, I think we've actually ended up building two decks here. I think that we've... That... Yadaro, like, just control is definitely a thing. It seems really easy to just, like, cycle it, kill some stuff, cycle it, kill some stuff, cycle it, kill some stuff, then play Yadaro. But I also think that the... The... What's it called? Riel is, like, its own deck. I think we're playing, like, two decks at once right now. Kind of unintentionally, obviously. I didn't know what the cards did. But... Um, Riel is good with the Adaro, but I don't know if you necessarily even want it. Um, Law Rune Enforcer. I might actually just, I should probably just quench this, honestly, because like, it just kill, it kills a token, basically. Let's scry. I should quench last turn. Negate Castle Vantress. Jeez. Your Ardek is definitely not optimally built. So, this kills a 1-1, one, one. we're at 3. We're going to upkeep Scry, because that's just the uh, the flooded world that we're in right now. Scry says, Blitz and Thrill. This thing is pro-even. Um, I guess we have to kill the, the Enforcer or we're just dead, right? Um, they just tap the... 
the wandering monster and kill us, the stupid lava brink guy. This is really annoying. Alright. Really holding on by a thread here. It would be cool if they drew a land. That, that, that is kind of cool, kind of true. Up, oh, they drew a land. All right, so let's thrill away our island and draw an ionize. Okay, they get to make a token, which sucks. No, no bacon bolts. Um. No bacon bolts. Yes, we are dead. We are dead next turn. Unless you draw a spell. And upkeep. Upkeeping this mantras feels really bad, but... Another Blitz. And Blitz kills the Enforcer, I guess. And then Riel is a card. Riel blocks Lava, Lava Brink Venture or whatever. Are they just, like, almost dead? We could, um, if we swing, they're effectively at five. They need to produce enough blockers to do this. Um. So, they have another blocker. We attack. We can, they're at five. That soaks up three, that's five. We kill it. Let me just try and kill them. So we draw. We attack. They're effectively a five. They have to block with actual everything. We kill that. And they still take five and die. They're, they're just dead, yeah. Unless they block with the lava brink, which is also good for us too, so. Any questions about this card? If you read my article on coolstuffinc.com last week, this is one of my loves for the set. I, I talked, talked about how good this card was. Oh look, they're dead. And all right close one there close one. play one more uh so this this is like a this is a, this is a, a typical early format um early format scenario where you your first decks never work but they inform your future decks and i think we've accidentally built two decks here that both seem pretty good um the uh the this could, like control Instant speed, kill stuff, cycle the turtle a couple times. That that plan seems really cool. And the the Riel just, just build a Riel deck basically because Riel's insane. Uh, so not not a bad start. <clears throat> I think our deck is built pretty poorly, um, but it's a first draft. What do you expect? All right, we're gonna have Mulligan. They're not playing blue, it's pretty gross. I don't know if main deck disputes are also the, probably the right idea or not. Oh my god. Uh. Alright, we're gonna keep this. Might actually just ship an island. Because we just need to draw a red. 
Is that insanely greedy? Is that insanely greedy? Damn. I'm crazy. The third island doesn't really help us, you know? Oh, God. We get moderated here. Sure. We can cycle this. It's fine. So I'm not going to edit the decks today. We're just, we're just playing the brews as they are. Um, the goal of today is to play a bunch of different decks, not to work on one deck. So I'm not going to spend too much time on each deck. The goal is to kind of just get an overview, try different formats and stuff like that. All right. Didn't draw land. Didn't draw land. Awesome. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're drawing, we're drawing to lands and ops. Strite Dragon. All right. Dispute. A dispute. Uh, you don't want you to draw in an aggro deck, no. It's, then, then the cost of actually tapping and casting it's too much. Sprite Dragon again, sure. If you're just tuning in, welcome. This is our first deck. <laughs> it's got wings. Uh, first deck, we have... This deck and nine more to go. Oh my god, they didn't, didn't, didn't attack? Why didn't they attack? They tricked me. <laughs> I, didn't crack my, I didn't crack the passengers. They, they didn't attack. We drew a lance. It's fine, but... Alright, so we're actually going to play Temple. Scry on a stack. Crack our thing. Almost punished. Not quite, though. Get a mountain, then scry. Uh, like I would say we definitely want to kill the dragon before it gets too big. Uh, I would like to draw an untapped land so I can just go Riel and throw on the same turn. I'm going to ship this and just kill this right away. Why don't they attack? I don't understand. Red Bull gives you wings. Alright, so, despite mulliganing, missing a land drop and stuff, this game hasn't been too bad for- oh, hello. Alright, now, now I wish I'd saved the uh, kill spell. Oh, god. Oh, boy. We're in trouble. Oh, boy. Alright, so now, I guess we can just say go here, because we leave up Ionize, they play like a Thardic Green, and we get to counter it. They still draw cards off of it, though. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh... If we cast this, they just kill it. It's a, it's a, it's a, a disaster. I'm just gonna say go. Yeah. We don't want to cast Rial without using it, if we can. Alright, play Cathartic Reunion. Crackwing Drake? Even better. Even better. Love it. They currently have zero spells so far. This is probably one of the problems of playing these prowess decks is every creature you play is not a spell. So I'm totally cool with this. This is Can't play too many payoff cards or they don't work. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> so they they're playing all the spell matters cards and they haven't played a single spell yet. They've only played creatures. All right, so we're gonna play Riel here. And we've already played a land. We're just gonna say go. Shock my Riel, okay. Lord Dragon, can you make the, the deck command, please, for the thing? All right, and then we're gonna, I guess we're gonna throw a thrill here. Which kinda sucks, but Yeah, make Lord Dragon make the Ikoria command trigger when someone types in exclamation point deck. Heh. <laughs> Perfect. It played a spell. It played two spells. And an opt. You got it. You got it. Thanks, Lord Dragon. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the new follows, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, my alerts are broken right now because um, if you don't. If you don't know me, my name is Jim Davis. I'm a full-time content creator, and I, uh, we're moving. 
we're supposed to we're supposed to close on a house today actually we're hopefully going to close like next week so life is chaos and when we get to move into the new place everything will be awesome hashtag soon so no alerts and stuff but what are you going to do all right so pretty easy riel here and i uh, don't all right good i was scared of getting like ionized or something there um which one should i play a land and say go Obviously, might kill it, but we get to thrill and opt. Thanks, BB. I appreciate it. Great audience today, man. 700 viewers. Give yourself a hand for being awesome. Y'all are great. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is my favorite piece of content that I do. Absolute favorite piece. This card is so good. All right, so we're going to fire off the thrill and response, draw some more cards. PMC. One year reset from Scotland. My friends, my friend, appreciate it. Yadaro's here, cool. All right, so if they break this turn, I get to untap. I think the game is over. Insect opt. I mean, it's untap here. Blitz. Plus, it's not a bad safety valve. Um. It is for like a million right now. Sure. Oh, hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Um, let's, we're going to opt. Cycle, cycle. Hehehehe. <laughs> I gotta actually watch Cyclone right now, because I'm, I'm, I'll make a land drop maybe, so let's just cycle. Yudaro's been good. Um, this deck is a little, uh, a little confused. A little confused. Cathartic discarding two lands. Oh boy! Oh, it's Helix! Oh my god! Take two. Untap. Oh, yeah. Cycle Yadaro. That's two. And Riel's here now. All right, we're still going to leave up our counter spell, obviously. So, yeah, that, this deck is is, is confused. We've we managed to build two decks at once. Um, and both seem awesome, but they shouldn't go together. So, I don't think Riel should be in your Yadaro deck and vice versa. The, the, the glue holding everything together, though, is this card. This card is... Insane. I called it in my preview article, and I think it's even better than I thought it was. What's up, Toad? Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, I mean, like, I get to play Riel and Lilo Counterspell next turn? Whatever, sure. What's up, Bewalda? Castle Vantress? Okay. Just an 11-3. Just an 11-3. Arclight Phoenix. Well, be a real shame if that one got exiled. Wouldn't it? Sure would. He's dead. Eh, they're almost dead. They're effectively dead. What do you think, folks? Is this one locked up? All right, so definitely a, a good first deck. I think I I like this. Again, it's all about winning. It's not about winning. It's about learning on on a day one scenario. So turtle control went three two, um, but we've built two decks here, and we're gonna again I'll, I'll discuss it in full on Friday. But Riel is, is a deck, and Yadaro is a deck. They're both held together by Blitz, but they're different decks. So we gotta. We gotta work on this one a little bit, but definitely super cool. Definitely, um, really, really powerful cards. They also played horribly in that first match too. So our first game. Um, that's awesome. Awesome new cards. Great start. Great start. So that's it for this deck. If you're watching on YouTube, please take 10 seconds to like the video, leave a comment, sub the channel, and uh, look for all the other decks too. I look for the article on Friday, CoolStuffInc.com. It's Friday the 17th. CoolStuffInc.com. YouTube folks. I'll see you in the next video.